grew up in Epsom in Auckland, the typical Kiwi fun-loving kid. My early perception of church was purely through my grandparents and my mum's side of the family, and it was really traditional. It was all a bit scary and felt a bit foreign to me. It wasn't something that I connected with. I've always had an addictive personality, and from the ages of probably 14 to 17, that you know, led me down a bit of a darker path. There was probably a, um, a distinct amount of loneliness and sense of something missing during that time. The weight of that stuff started to bear on me in my late teenage years and early 20s. Met a young lady who was really early on meeting Carmen and I knew that there was something very different about her. She had uh, a sense of joy about her, a sense of peace about her that was something that was you know, quite intriguing to me. So I just decided that I needed to find out what that was. Carmen convinced me to come along to church. Really from the first moment I walked in, I knew that I was at home and that the hole that had, I'd felt in my life and sensed in my life was a God-sized one. I guess it enabled me to make connections where I could finally be open and honest about what was going on in my world and, and feel like I could trust those people. I think I'd gone from someone in high school who was, you know, uh, quite nasty at times to other people to someone who saw other people through Jesus' eyes, through Christ's eyes. The thing that's probably come full circle is me having my own kids. Not only do they have this um, youthful sense of wonder, they have it with an understanding of who Jesus Christ is in their life as well. And to watch a kid flourish with those things in their life is amazing. Hi, I'm Paul DeYong and thanks for watching Life TV. We're posting new stories and episodes regularly, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Stay up to date.